All right, I am Ash. I'm the community manager here for Endspace and Sword Coast Legends, and I'm here with Tim Schwalk, who is the design director. Tim, what are we going to do today? Well, Ash, I'm glad you asked. Now we're <laughs> gonna we're gonna play through the dungeon that Dan and I just made. I'm gonna act as the dungeon master, and the QA team, along with our development director Steve Jolson, are going to play through as the party. It's exciting. Let's do it. Everyone's ready. Here we go. Now, Steve is Hamit, just so everyone knows, in case there's any funny business going on. Right. So if you I, see um, lots of bad stuff happening to Hamit, you know why. Yeah, I'll probably have most of the spiders attack Hamit. Here we go. I can hear all that. <laughs> so you'll see here, uh, when I move my cursor, on their screen they're seeing a, a magical wisp move around. That way they always know when I'm nearby. I'm not always up to no good, but sometimes it's just good to know when the DM is operating near you. I'm going to go ahead and start by locking this door, Ash, to give us a little bit of time to play around in this room while they deal with that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to interact, interact with this D20. And what this allows me to do is change the encounter, change the difficulty of the encounter, or turn the counter all the way off, which is what I'm going to do. I have an empty encounter here so I can create my own encounter. Um, over here I have access to the different enemy sets that I've created. I'm going to go here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few of these spider eggs. These are awesome because if they don't defeat them quickly, they'll actually hatch into spiders. And I'm going to put a trap right in front of it. So the idea being they're going to see the eggs run in there, hit my trap. It's a beautiful plan. <laughs> Those eggs are good for slowing up parties <laughs> too because they always instinctively want to break them and run toward them. So. Absolutely. I'm going to close all the doors that come to this room. They don't really know what's going on or where to go. Um, this is one of the things, so once the party enters this room, the D20 is going to go away. I can no longer change the default encounter on top of them. I can also no longer change these doorways. That way they're, if they're walking through, I can't put a secret door on top of them, separate the party. But pretty much anything else I can do in real time. I can place the trap when they're in the room, but you'll notice I can't put the trap directly on them. It says I'm too close. So it looks like they're a little bit paranoid. I see they're already searching. Oh, looks like they're coming. Um, I'm going to put a few more things in here. So up here, this is my DM threat meter. Basically, DM threat is the currency that I use to add enemies, add traps, lock doors. Anything that I can do that challenges the player is going to cost me a little bit of DM threat. I earn DM threat a little bit over time, but most of my DM threat comes from when the team is succeeding. If they unlock this door, I'll get some. When they kill enemies, I'll get some. Right. Uh, the idea is... The better they're doing, the more threat I get, and the more ability I have to challenge them. Right, and if the, the party keeps uh, uh, performing poorly, you actually lose threat, and therefore you can uh, kind of, your, your powers are slightly limited. That's exactly right. If I wipe one of them, if I wipe the whole party, I lose all my threat. But if one of them does die, I do lose a, a big chunk of threat. So I have a few options here. I can choose a spider. I can tell them where to go. I can tell them who to attack. I can grab both spiders and operate it almost like you would an RTS. Tell them all to attack Steve. Come on now. Alright, they're doing pretty well. Actually, the spider did well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place a few spider eggs here to slow them down. I'm going to set, set this to hard, which added an additional shocking trap here. Um, over here, I'm going to set this to hard. And this is going to give me a little bit of time to play up ahead of them. So one of the, my favorite things to do is to go in here and look at all the, the props that I have. Um, some DMs you'll notice, and you've seen, like to stick on top of the party and sort of manage the the moment-to-moment -moment combat experience. But I sort of like to set things like I like I like them, then I'll move ahead and I'll just create some fun little moments. Uh, for instance, I'm going to put a tent here. And what is a tent without a character? Without a camper? <laughs> How about... This dude, this put him the in there. Worst camping location. <laughs> yeah, possible. he might have chosen a better place to camp. I'm gonna name him Chester Copperpot. Copperpot, because I can spell. And I'm gonna put here, not a happy camper. Now, can you See can you trap there? his body as well to kind of make oh, him I an totally obstacle for can. players? That's just cruel. But yes, I certainly Let's can. Do it. Let's put uh, an explosive trap on Chester Copperpot's body. <laughs> so basically, they're gonna as see him. Be. They're going to come over and they're going to click on him. They're going to get the explosion if they don't detect the trap and disarm it. But uh, normally when you click on an interactive object that I had text to, it would just say not a happy camper above it. When they highlight it, they'd see that. So that gives you an opportunity to uh, tell little stories, obviously support a bigger story that you're telling. Right. And uh, you can 
I mean, you honestly use this in ways that we never intended. For instance, I, I had some fun one day. You put the rock pile here, right? Mm hmm. And then I'm going to take this horse and put him by the rock pile. You can probably see where I'm going with this. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so it's it not much like fun you have quite here. a bit to eat. <laughs> have a horse and a rock pile, but I can take this, I can call this manure. And I can put in here. I hate manure. <laughs> so when they walk in there, they're going to see this horse. They're going to say, what in the world? They're going to click on that. They're going to see manure. They're going to click on it. Nice. And they're going to see, I, I hate mean, it manure. Does, it, it's silly, but it lends to uh, a lot of really great storytelling opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, let's ah, see. they're in your trap room. Oh, they're getting smarter, it seems. So once they come in here, if you remember from when uh, Dan and I were making this dungeon, this encounter was set to be an ambush for when they open this chest. So once I open this chest, I can't remember, I think it may have been Hezrael's that were in here, but they'll spawn on top of these guys. So they also spawn this encounter, so what I can do is if I wanted to, I could grab these guys and run them in here. And of course I want to. These guys after Lydia, and this guy go after Steve. In fact, I'm gonna have everyone kill Steve. Because as a DM, that's my prerogative. <laughs> Can't bring me down, <laughs> but if I see they're having a hard time, which they clearly are not, I have some options to help make their lives a little bit easier. I've got an awful lot of threat here, Ash. Anything in specific you'd like to see me do? Um, let's give them some rocks to play with. Some rocks? Yes. You're just mean. I know. Uh, these rocks are great. They actually can summon other creatures. Oh, wow. So I'm going to put a rock in here with these heads around closets. All right, they're going to have a hard time. In fact, their fighter is fleeing for her life. <laughs> <laughs> no, she That's a here. great strategy. She oh, she was actually frightened. Take that. Yeah, this is a rough encounter. All right, so this so is not going well for the them. Goes, so goes what I'm going like to do, um, I'm going to right click on the Hezrael, and I get some options here. I'm actually going to demote this one straight up. Oh, they got one of them. Oh, the Brock. Then this one, I'm going to take a little bit of health away from this one. And they're doing OK. This is already a minion. They're actually not doing poorly. They're obviously a quite experienced dungeon delving team. Oh yeah, they did really well. I've still got tons of threats, so I could make their lives even more difficult if I wanted to. <laughs> but because I'm a nice guy, I'm going to go in here. I'm gonna take Gwen we made earlier. She's the, the girl that was giving us the quest. Uh, Gwen's back. To find Aridin. But this time I'm gonna make her a vendor. I'm gonna give her weapons to sell. I'm also gonna give her, what do you think, potions to sell? Potions, yeah. Just All right, so she out. now will sell weapons and potions. But because it's funny, I'm gonna put some traps <laughs> around her. There you go. I know, it's just mean. But, you know. Oh, it looks like they found the secret room. Yeah, I don't think they trust me, Ash. I don't think so either. It's interesting. It's like the rogue is uh, doing his job. Let's see if they find my horse. I'm gonna put this bed by the horse. And I'm gonna put this dead body nearby. Anyone over there? And you'll love this. Anyone over there? So they're perplexed. Oh, Ooh. I see they did animate dead on my Ezra. They're, they're trusting the vendor. So, yeah. Oh! Oh, uh, they hit by the traps. I want to come over here, make them a, give them a special surprise in this hallway when they come. So we've got... Here's your mini boss. I thought we promoted him. Mr. Fancy Pants. He's going through, I may have changed him. All right, so we got Mr. Fancy Pants here. And there's our boss. I'm actually gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna line this hallway with spider eggs because everyone loves spider eggs. Especially me and Ash. Yep, big fan. <laughs> and over, over medium is my favorite. <laughs> What's that? So spider eggs over medium is my favorite. Oh, delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna make this quite ornate. Oh, nice. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a royal treatment. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna put a bunch of. Oh, I think they're doing something bad to my Mr. Fancy Pants out here. Looks like they're faring pretty in. well. Oh, he's already down. What? He was not that fancy. Okay, let's we'll see what they do about a second Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, he's back. <laughs> back from the grave. That's right. I don't know if Fancy Pants returns. Now, you summoned him with threat, correct? I did. He cost 75 threat to ah. bring him back. Uh, but this he's is back, the... and he already wiped out two members of the party. Oh, wow. Mr. Fancy Pants. Come on, man. 
demote him a little bit. I actually gain threat back when I demote him. You can remove enemies straight up, and you'll gain threat back from that as well. Now, when your threat goes back up, you can leap directly into Fancy Pants and control his abilities, correct? Absolutely. In fact, I could do that, but I think, I think they got him. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do, I'll save that threat for the spider boss. Ah, spoiler alert. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So, let's see. They look nervous. They're not doing much here. Anything else you'd like to see me challenge them with? No, let's see if they can get through your, your gauntlet here. Let's just uh, <laughs> let's be a little voyeuristic and watch them go through. So, I think what I really should have done is put a few traps in here, too. I got it. Ah, uh, so they are picking off my spider eggs from a distance, which is very smart. The spider eggs themselves have very little health, but uh, yeah, there we go. They're good for swarming the spiders groups are pretty good. and causing panic. Oh yeah, totally. Oh! Not bad. So, ah, oh, there we go. Now all my spider eggs have spawned. I'm gonna grab these guys. Let's go after Jarhild. Now let's go after Steve. Of course, they're making quick work of these guys. Nicely done, team. Woo. I'm not doing bad, though, on threat. I've got 63 threat. It's pretty good. So you'll actually be able to uh, some do some wicked stuff to them if you choose. So one thing I haven't seen yet, I haven't dropped any uh, DM loot. So we have this really cool concept for loot for the DM called DM loot. And uh, it drops randomly off of enemies. The higher the threat cost of the enemy, the higher chance I have of getting this loot. Rise. We're fighting now. So the one negative on the spider eggs is once they see them, they can defeat them. So they have like one HP. So what I like to do is hide them underneath here. Oh, they got a player there. Hey, uh, I'm trying to do something devious. <laughs> they foiled your plans. I'm standing underneath it. All right, I'm gonna walk the spider over here because I can. Come on, here you go. Do you have enough threat at this point to take direct control? I do. Let me drop some spider eggs. And I'll leave enough to do that. All right. I love just enough. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and possess her. So you see I have access to her entire ability bar here. I'm going to go ahead and do an acid oh pool. So this will keep them away from me a little bit. Put the acid out here. They're standing within the acid. Oh, and my spider eggs are hatching. This is looking pretty good for me right now. I'm going to poison spit over here. Let's go at Steve. Because I can. Oh, a little <laughs> out of range. What have I done? And just bite. Web pool, this is great. Oh, they knocked them all down. They're on the oh, ropes. They're actually dead. All right, jar healed. Come back over here. Oh, I can do lay eggs. Now, the ability to possess um, all the monsters in the game and also the, the NPCs, I mean, that exists for literally everything across the board at this point, right? Oh, absolutely. You can possess any monster in the game. Uh, it's more fun to possess the bosses, the mini bosses, because they're going to have more abilities and more options, but I can possess. See, I don't have enough threat, but I could possess just a, a tiny fodder spider if I wanted to. Absolutely. Um, I don't have to keep control of her if I wanted to. I can click away and do something else. Ah, oh, they're nicely they done, guys. They're nicely done. I've still got quite a lot of threat, so I'm just going to... Oh, surprise. Oh, Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give them a little, little dredge army. And I'm gonna tell everyone, kill Steve! <laughs> oh, what's going on, Hobbit? We gotta work as a team. No, they did a great job. And they're making short work of my guys. Still no team. Well, sometimes you roll 20s, sometimes, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Awesome. That's right. Well, that was fun, guys. No, they did, they did really, really well. Great job. That was fun. They're trying to free Aridin, but he's wrapped up. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back in the coming weeks with more DM fun. And cut.